Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. To myself. What a wonderful So today's video is going to be my candle slash wax melt slash home fragrance collection video. So I wanted to do an updated one of these after SAS and after kind of um, the winter stuff had been clearanced for SAS and all the spring stuff is in now and I don't have any new spring stuff just yet, but I do have stuff from SAS. So the collection is a little bit different from last time you saw it, um, but I will link up above my last time I did a collection video and you guys can check that out up there, but I have laid out everything on my bed and we're going to go through it one by one. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so starting out, here's a quick overview. We've got candles right here. We've got wax melts. We've got some car fragrance refills. We've got some wallflower refills and we've got some sprays. So I'm going to start off with the things that I have a little bit less of. So we've got two sprays here. We've got the winter spray, which I just picked up at SAS and marshmallow fireside. For wallflowers, we have 10 right here. So I try to organize them by um, season. So these are all fall, one winter, and then all these are like spring, summer. So we've got honey crisp apple, blackberries and basil, pumpkin snickerdoodle, strawberry pound cake, cereal and cartoons, sun wash citrus, peach bellini, mahogany coconut, Waikiki beach coconut, and sugared snickerdoodle. For um, car fragrance refills, we've got strawberry pound cake, champagne toast, and vanilla bean. So I'm going to start off with candles over here. Um, we're going to go for the ones that are not Bath and Body Works first. So I've got this Grease Creek pumpkin pie candle, and it's that big large jar candle. I have this in my project wax right now. And then I have this DW Homes dinner roll candle, super weird find from TJ Maxx. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about this one yet. I haven't really burned it too much, but when I did burn it, I thought that I was making mac and cheese or something downstairs. Like that's what it smelled like. So it's kind of weird, but yeah, there's that candle. <laughs> and then I have just two single wicks. I have raspberries and whipped vanilla, which I have yet to burn yet. I need to burn this soon. Um, because one of you guys asked me how I thought of it and I haven't burned it yet, so I will update you. And then we have Hello Gorgeous Pumpkin Spice Latte, one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. It's just a beautiful coffee scent. Okay, for candles, I organized it by like spring, summer, fall, and then winter. So we'll start over here. These two I picked up at SAS. I've got Strawberry Pound Cake Champagne Toast. Whipped coffee from last year and pumpkin donut shop also from actually from 2020. I've got another pumpkin donut shop from 2021, banana walnut muffin and pumpkin bonfire. Now these are all from uh, either SAS or uh, Candle Day. So I've got blackberry creme frosting, give hope peppermint marshmallow, peppermint sugar cookie, peppermint hot chocolate, give warmth, which is marble chocolate cupcake red velvet cupcake, and love cotton candy champagne. So for wax melts, I have quite an array of different brands. So we'll start right here with all the Scentsy, and I am trying to use up like most of my wax, and then so I can do like a big nice haul for spring and summer. So I will be trying to use these up soon, but I have Cocoa Lime, Squeeze the Day, Silver Bells, Perfectly pomegranate, graham cracker crunch, and toasted acorn and oak. And now I know people like to see the wax on this, so cocoa lime, which uh, I am waiting to burn again until it gets hot. Squeeze the day, also waiting until it gets hot. This one's so strong. Uh, silver bells, which I should be working on this month because, or at least soon, because it feel I feel like it goes really well with winter time. Perfectly pomegranate, which you know what? I might pair these two together. I feel like that might be a weird combination, but still smell really good. Graham Cracker Crunch, which I could use this one ever, honestly. I'm not in a rush to use that one up. Um, and Toasted Acorn and Oak. I don't really have opinions on this one yet. I've only used one cube. And then I have three from Sonoma. We've got Mango Margarita, which I'm waiting for spring slash summer to use. Fresh Morning Donuts, which I should focus on using up now because honestly, could use that whenever. Uh, coconut Sea Salt, which actually smells like mahogany teak wood. Smells really good, but I gotta wait because my mom does not like this scent. So I gotta wait until either I move out or bring it to work to use, so. Um, we've got these two from Mainstays. These are these like 97 cent ones because they're super thin, but Crispy Treats, which is like 
oh, it's so, so, so good. And hazelnut cream, which I could probably use up these whole things in one go. I usually use two, um, I use two cubes and one warmer downstairs and then one cube in like a little plug-in that goes into the wall downstairs. So I probably could just use up both of these two in one go. I will probably work on those too soon. I have the Target Threshold brand in Vanilla Bean and Amber. Um, just this beautiful white wax and I love this scent. It's like a very clean laundry scent. It's so, so, so nice. I've got this one, which I actually picked up at Bucky's. And for you guys who aren't in Texas or don't have one, they actually do have one now, I think in Alabama, but um, it's a gas station, which sounds hilarious getting wax melts at the gas station, but they actually have a lot of um, like sellers basically that sell at Bucky's. So um, this one is from the Swan Creek Candle Co. They had so many of these big giant bars, so I'll compare it to one of these Scentsy bars just so you can see. This is pretty big. Look at the cubes on the back of this compared. So I would say one cube is like two of these. So it's it's huge and I can smell it from here. The scent is roasted espresso and oh my gosh, it smells so good. I'm actually like a little scared to burn this or melt this because I feel like it's gonna overpower my house. Um, so I'm actually trying to get a warmer to put just in the kitchen. Um, that way I can do something like this only in the morning and just have it going and smell like coffee in the morning. So I'm waiting on this one for now, but I do have this giant bar. And then I have two from Sensationals. We've got Autumn Valley, which I have not melted yet. And we've got Feeling Cozy, which is Warm Woods and Crisp Apple, which I probably should work on using during the winter time. Oh, I didn't read this one, but this one is Golden Amber and Balsam. And then I just did an order off of KringleCandle.com. So they have two different brands, Country Candle and Kringle Candle. So I'll start off with Country Candle. We've got Welcome Home, which I have not melted yet. We've got Cheers. Also, I haven't melted yet. I just got these in at the end of December. We've got Candy Cane Cheesecake, which had zero scent to it, which is super disappointing. Uh, we've got November, have not had a chance to use that one yet. We've got Hot Chocolate, oh my God, this one smells so good. It smelled like I was baking brownies. Oh, it smelled delicious. Oh my God, I would definitely consider picking up more of that. And then White Chocolate Chai, which was a nice simple like white chocolate scent, I think. Um, but I will say about Kringle Candle, this order I placed on Cyber Monday and that didn't come in till the end of December. So their shipping takes freaking forever. So I don't actually know if I would ever purchase from them, them again, unless it was another good deal. Cause by the time I got these in, I wasn't even in the mood for like Christmas scents anymore. So, you know, whatever. So yeah, that's my entire home fragrance collection. So that's everything for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Just a sneak peek into my collection of wax and candles and things like that. So let me know if you guys enjoyed that video. I can do more wax videos if you guys are interested in that. I just personally, the people that I watch who do wax hauls and talk about burning wax and melting wax and doing like wax, um, weekly wax melt roundups and like different uh wax baskets for each month and like themed ones they have so much wax i feel like they have like four times as much as i do and i really haven't been doing been melting wax for that long probably since actually since like february of last year so it's been almost a year um so i'm still like relatively new and still like learning and my mom really doesn't enjoy having a lot of fragrance in the house so I think once I move out, I'm going to go a little more deeply into wax melting. Um, but for now, I just have the two downstairs in our living room and that's been, that's sufficed for now. So yeah, that's, that's my relatively new viewpoint on wax. I do want to get through like most of this wax collection um, and then go do another um, in-store Walmart haul because I really enjoy going in there and smelling all the scents. It's like so fun to me. But the candles so far, I honestly don't think this is too many, but I do want to get through a lot. So I do have a project wax that I am doing currently for all my candles. I might start including wax melts, but usually I just like pick one for the day and it'll burn for like a day and a half and then I'm done. So I don't know. I don't feel like I really need to limit my wax melts right now to a certain like one to finish because I just like try to use them as much as I can so yeah I'm just trying to finish up as much as I can so I can start 
getting some new stuff for spring and summer. But yeah, that's everything for my home fragrance collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Thank you.